Brothers and sisters, today's reading has the theme of thanksgiving or gratitude, which coincides with the thanksgiving we celebrate at our home this weekend. Today's first reading describes a vibrant expression of thanksgiving from Nehemiah, who is the army commander of the king of Aram in Persian days Syria, to Prophet Elisha after his healing from leprosy through the power of the God of Israel. The story starts at the beginning of the chapter. Nehemiah was the commander of the army of Syria. He was a good commander and was held in favor because of the victory that God bought him. Yet Nehemiah was a, lep a leper. Ne Nehemiah's wife has a servant girl from Israel who said that a prophet in Israel would be able to heal him. Nehemiah tell his king and he sent to Israel with a letter to the king of Israel. The king of Israel didn't know what to do, yet Elisha sent a message to the king of Israel, advising that the king tell Nehemiah to come and see him. Elisha told Nehemiah to go to bathe in the Jordan seven times and he would be clean. Nehemiah was angry and would have left, but his servant asked him to try it, and he was healed. In today's first reading, when the prophet Elisha refused to accept Nehemiah's costly gift as a reward of the healing, the grateful Nehemiah asked the prophet permission to take two mil loaves of earth with him from the land of Israel, so that when he got back to his homeland, the Damascus, he could set up an altar for the God of Israel on the soul for Israel. The transporting of holy soul was a widespread custom at that time. If you want to worship the God of Israel in another country, you had to take some Israel soul with you, dump it on the ground in the other country, and stand on it. That way you will be in Israel and so could worship the Israel God. The grateful dear man, through the miracle of healing his leprosy, promised that he would accept the God of Israel as his only God and would no longer offer burnt offering or sacrifice to any God except the God of Israel. Nehemiah has clearly sold his thanks, praise, and gratitude to the God of Israel after he received his healing. From the Gospel today, Christ was on the border between Galilee and Samaria, where he was met by a group of ten lepers, including one Samaritan among the Jews. We know that the Jews has no dealing with the Samaritans. Yet in this group, there was at least one Samaritan. A common misfortune has broken down the racial and national barrier in the common, tragedy, tra in the common tragedies of their leprosy. They have forgotten they were opponent and remember only they were men in need. After they were all healed by Christ, the external circumstances did not force them to be together, and they may choose to separate. Nine of them were probably eager to live a normal life, and immediately went to the priest for, for inspection. Only this Samaritan appreciated the beauty of the grace he received. His integration into normal life thus become less important. So he immediately go back to praise God. The first time this Samaritan met Jesus, he was standing and begging. But the second time, he prostrate at Christ's feet and give thanks to him with a loud voice. Prostrating is a sign of respect for God. 
His grateful, his grateful heart goes beyond control. Therefore, he prays loudly. The gospel make a special statement, and he was a Samaritan, implying that salvation come from Jesus, which originally benefit the Jews. The Samaritan cannot earn the kindness of God. He was an outcast. He simply asked for it, and it was freely given. After he accepted God's grace, he gave thanks and praise to God with a loud voice. The church father pointed out that there are three common points between the gospel story today and the story of Nehemiah. First, both the Nehemiah and the Samaritan leper were foreigner or Gentile. Who sought healing from a pious Jews? Second, both were ordered to perform a small, seemingly irrelevant action. Elisa told Nehemiah to bathe in the river, in the river Jordan seven times. Christ told the ten lepers to talk, to show themselves to the priest, who could certify heal, healing. In both story. Healing took place only after they left his presence to obey. Third, both Nehemiah and the Samaritan returned to praise God. From Nehemiah, the Samaritan, and the church fathers, we need to learn to be faithful to God and to others. Often we are unfaithful, ungrate, we are ungrateful to God, although we receive so much from Him. We often take it for granted, without appreciating His gift. In times of need, we pray with desperately intensity, but as time passes, we forget God. Many of us fail to offer grace before meal, or allocate a few minutes of the day for family prayer. God gave us His only Son, but we seldom give Him. A word of thanks. Often we are grave, we are ungrateful to our aged parent, and considering them a nuisance. Although in the past we were dependent on them for literally or li for literally everything. Similarly, we owe a great debt of gratitude to our friends, teachers, and pastors. But we often fail to thank them. Hence, in the future, let us fill with daily thanksgiving to God and to others for the kindness gift we have received. Let us show our gratitude to our forgiving God by forgiving others, and a loving God by radiating His love, mercy, and compassion to others. When Jesus instituted the Eucharist. He established it as a supreme act of thanksgiving. When we celebrate the Mass, the sacrifice of thanksgiving that we offer to our Heavenly Father is the crucifixion of Christ. But at the same time, we give thanks that the Father has given us His Son, that Christ has offered Himself for us on the cross. And that Christ give us His life in holy communion. From the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the Eucharist is a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the Father, a blessing by which the Church express her gratitude to God and all His benefit for all that He has accomplished through creation, redemption, and sanctification. Eucharist. Means first of all, thanksgiving. In a short moment, after we receive Holy Communion, and Christ is truly present inside us, it is a perfect time to have a chat with the Lord to mention a few of the blessing we have received over the past week, and to tell Jesus how grateful we are. All we have is from God. And without God, we will have nothing. <laughs>